What's up, guys? Welcome back to Miami Dolphins Syndicate. As always, I'm your co-host, Donovan Quick. Uh, so it's Saturday, um, and obviously we just got the news on Thursday that Josh Boyer has been fired as the defensive coordinator of the Miami Dolphins, along with a couple of the assistants. Uh, the only thing that really remains of the Brian Flores era was Danny Crossman and his staff on special teams. Uh, as always, we pray he gets fired. Um, yeah, special teams have been horrible. But this is about the defensive coordinator position and the possibility of it possibly being the most attractive spot besides the Broncos. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, they're, they're like naming places for... Uh, defensive coordinators, and they're really just naming the places that aren't without a head coach opening. Same thing with offensive coordinator positions. They're like, oh, we have eight teams that need offensive coordinators. Like, no, you have 11 teams because you have the five additional, um, actually, it's uh, 13 teams, the five additional teams that uh, no longer have a head coach that will be bringing in a new coordinator when they come in. Unless you're, of course, like Mike McDaniel and you get stuck with your coordinators. Uh, from your previous era. So, with this, there's the two most attractive spots for defensive coordinator right now, I would say, are the Broncos and the Miami Dolphins. Now, a lot of people are talking about Vic Fangio. He's worked with Nick or uh, Bradley Chubb before, uh, and we know his style of defense works. And he, his, his style of defense is mainly get your guys on the front, get pressure with those guys, and then let your, you know, uh, it's really, he he's a de defensive line specialist is the best way to put it. So the defense will be based on the defensive line rather than the secondary like it is now. Now, I think we have a lot of talent both up front and in the secondary. Now, secondary was obviously just brutally injured this year we had probably four or five people on IR or out for the year if you include Byron he was not on IR and with this my top two candidates that I want are number one Vic Fangio absolutely love what he brings to the table I don't think that he's going to be a head coaching candidate anytime soon so he's going to be staying a while in Miami uh, or wherever he lands, really. Uh, and that way, he's going to be, you know, the guy, right? My guy, though. My guy. He's my number two choice, but he's number one in my heart. Gerald Alexander. He was our cornerbacks coach uh, and then left with Brian Flores. He's now a defensive specialist coach uh, with the Steelers. He is looking uh, for interviews elsewhere. He did last year. Uh, interview for the Jaguars defensive coordinator position and this man is so intelligent and he and he knows he coaches really well he still uh, is one of the best defensive coaches in the league he, he communicates well with his players his players love him when they came down the Steelers came down uh, it wasn't just you know Javon Holland and Brandon Jones and you know, all the guys that, you know, saying hi to Brian Flores, they were saying hi to Gerald Alexander. Gerald Alexander is such, such a good guy. Such a good guy. Such a smart, intelligent man. And our defense wouldn't change the scheme that much. So if we bring, like we did last year from this year, bring most of the same guys back and add a couple of different pieces, like similar to what we did from last year to this year, if we are able to do that and have this man as our coordinator, we could still have a secondary-based defense. However, we'll fix some of the things up front that we had issues with with Brian Flores. And, or uh, with Josh Boyer, not with Brian Flores. He, he, I think he would bring back more of a Brian Flores type of defense. The man has a house down here in Miami. His kids loved it down here in Miami. Bring that man back to Miami. Bring him home. He spent three years here as a cornerbacks coach and was one of the best in the league. Bring him back. 
obviously, I love Vic Fangio, and I don't think he's going to be rising any more than the defensive coordinator position. That would be the one thing I am worried about with Gerald Alexander is that he would eventually become a head coach. However, you know, going forward, I believe this is the best route for the Dolphins is one of these two guys. There are other guys uh, that are in talks, um, such as one of the the defensive line coaches from San Francisco, the defensive line coach from Seattle. Those guys are very up and coming, um, and those guys are projected to be uh, defensive uh, head coaches in the next two to three years. So it's going to be kind of like, remember when in 2016 we had Vance Joseph. Vance Joseph is also on the board, um, but he's also looking for a head coaching position similar to the other guys. So it's going to be, in my opinion, similar to how when Vance Joseph came over, he had one good season with the 2016 Dolphins, then he left and became a head coach. Obviously, he didn't have success as a head coach in his first uh, couple of years as a Broncos head coach, but hey, that happens. Like not not all defensive coordinators are made to be head coaches, and becoming a defensive head coach is probably one of the hardest things to do because if you have a great offensive coach, it's going to be hard to keep him around with your quarterback. So, um, yeah, obviously, guys, my number one choice is that uh, Vic Fangio, then Gerald Alexander. I'm fine with Vance Joseph, the guy from Seattle, the guy from the 49ers. Um, I know we're also looking at a Jets, a Jets defensive line coach as well, or linebackers coach, not a defensive line coach. Um, and all those guys I'm I'm fine with, you know, because all of them come from strong backgrounds. They're high rising. My only concern is the continue, continuity? Continuity. Con- Jesus. Continuity uh, with uh, with those guys. Being not being there for you know as long as we need them to be, as long as we need to make that Super Bowl run, that that's the ultimate goal, you know. Um, and so, you know, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Drop it in the comments. Uh, I can go into further detail in some further videos uh, dropping later this week. Uh, and you know what? Tell me who you're rooting for this weekend in the AFC and NFC. Obviously, all of us true Dolphin fans are kind of saying, go suck it to the Bills. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a great day, guys. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe.